Hello and welcome to this video. Here you see an old BKS rim cylinder and I already made a video about such kind of lock. But when I made the first video I had problems to take the two pieces apart and so I finally took a saw and cut through the rods. But that's not the way to go. There is a, a correct way to get the pieces apart and I will show you this just in a moment after I have picked it. When I received this lock it was full of dirt and oil, so I disassembled it completely and cleaned it up and I also removed the master wafers that were in. So you will find one key pin not original. Um, it has two sides, one with a bigger diameter here, which is meant for being uh, the inside part, and with a smaller diameter, and uh, this is the uh, part that is on the outside uh, of the of the door. Um, yeah, it has a very wide open keyway as you can see, so it's very easy to get access to the pins. That's the that's the bidding. It's a five pin lock, and the bidding here is is quite good. I will pick the the inside. Uh, piece inside part block wax and I use the thick Peterson pry bar which is still very floppy and a thick Peterson jam. All right, light tension all the way to the back. And when I brushed on pin 4, the core turned a little bit. Now I'm getting f checking for feedback. Pin 5, when I touched it, causes the plug to turn a little bit more. So I'm getting f counter rotation from 3. Got it. And nothing more. Or almost falling out so again to the back of the lock it was pin 4 I guess pin 3 is set how about pin 1? I don't know, pin 1 is still springy was pin 3, pin 4, you can hear pins drop when I try to set other pins, We have overset something, so I reset. Okay, got this initial turn on the core. Now I think pin four and five are okay. Was pin three. Okay, that was pin 4 again with counter rotation and then good false set now. Pin 1 and open. Okay, so now I'll show you how to correctly get these pieces apart. You can see uh, there is a little gap here and you see the the, um, the housing when I turn it, but now when I turn it even more, you see that there is a little hole and when I use a wire and I can stick in this wire here, it goes in an, in an angle because normally you have the key um, in, the, in the keyway, so you have to go in with an angle otherwise you would 
um, have no no space um, as the key is there and if you if you push in that hole you feel a, a spring tension and this releases the locking mechanism for these two rods so here is the locking mechanism and the rods are kept in place uh, as something uh, goes in the grooves and yeah you can release this mechanism by just pushing um, in the in this hole here all right so it's um, apart now I can quickly disassemble it and I had a pretty hard time to get the screws um, loose when I first um, disassembled this lock because they were uh, rusted together with the with the plate Okay, so all drivers um, look look like the same, beside of the length. So four and five are a little bit longer to the corresponding shorter key pins, but they all have the same shape. They are um, having a smaller diameter uh, towards the shear line and a very sharp edge. So you, when you when you pick it, you feel uh, like a they feel like a very uh, sharp spool. Um, very nice to pick actually. And uh, I'm very happy that there is uh, no countermilling in the chambers of the plug. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. That's it. Um, Bicker is rim cylinder um, picked and got it the right way. Thanks for watching. Happy picking. Bye bye.